today we head back to London for Charlton Athletic away. The last time we headed to London, it's fair to say it did not end well. However, our last trip to the Valley was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Will we see more of that today? Probably not. The home side do sit 10th in League 1 into the second round of the FA Cup. They play Gillingham this weekend and their form is looking pretty decent, unbeaten in their last six games. Of course, they do have top scorer in the league, Alfie May. I want to cry. We currently sit 23rd in EFL League 1, 5 points off of safety. The gap has closed big time and our form has picked up massively with 3 wins in our last 5 league games. Most recently a 2-0 win against, at the time, second placed Oxford United. My score prediction is a 2-1 loss, I just know that Alfie May and their other fantastic players will probably just dismantle us despite how good we've looked in recent games. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can the home side get an expected three points to keep them in the top half? Or will Charlton get another massive win to potentially take them within two points of safety? How many time will tell? Let's head to the valley and find out. to that. Come on. Come on, man.
Rothschild. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Oh. Oh. Get out! Someone get out to him! Oh, no, no, he's miles off! So that go on. Well then half done, Charlton have like one, Charlton one. I don't know how it's one all, uh, to be honest Charlton have been absolutely unbelievable. I'll give it to you guys, you've been absolutely quality, you deserve to be winning this game. Should have had a penalty, I haven't seen it back, but it looks like Lewis Freeston lunges down, sticks his right arm out, unnatural position, hits him around the bicep area. It is a bit high, but it's enough to be a handball for me, but again I haven't seen it back so don't quote me on it. Obviously hit the post, Luke Southwood has been forced into some absolutely fantastic saves, but I, f I find myself saying it again, the officiating is absolutely abysmal. And I know I say every bit, it's not even just the referees anymore, it's the linesman. That linesman running the Charlton line, that first half was absolutely shocking. He, the amount of offside he missed, the amount of onside that he gave offside, the amount of obvious challenges that he didn't pick up on, the alignment on the other side wasn't great either. It, it's it's just not good enough at this level. You know, we're League One. We shouldn't be getting refs that are this poor. But it is what it is. I'm not surprised anymore. We get it every week. Fingers crossed that we can stick this result out because Charlton, no doubt, will come out all guns blazing in the second half and we'll probably get a result because they look absolutely class. Um, but it is what it is. Will Goodwin is unreal. It's his world and we're living in it. Uh, Luke Salford again, unbelievable. Hopefully the defence sharpens up a bit in the second half. That's all we can ask. But yeah, let's go second half.
What about the foul on Serks? Full time Charlton Athletic 2, Charlton Town 1. My prediction was correct. Um, with the first half in mind, probably a deserved result from Charlton, but I can't believe the referee. Um, absolutely shocking. Not even necessary for the penalties. I haven't watched the second one back, but it, it looked like a penalty. The other decisions in the game were absolutely abysmal. Um, the amount of fouls that were going to miss, the amount of times that there should have been bookings when there weren't and that was for both sides um, that wasn't me necessarily being biased that was for both sides the officiating was absolutely shocking and it needs to improve going forward from the EFL because that was simply not good enough and it seems to happen every week um, however we gave it a good go they're a fantastic side and obviously clearly didn't do enough to beat you know, what is like I say a fantastic side on the day it is what it is obviously we've done our game on Saturday so our next game I believe is Bristol Rovers away feels like a long way away uh, but yeah might be there, might not, I haven't decided yet. Been there before, so we'll see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash like, subscribe, and yeah, have a class for the day. And I'll see you in the next one.